Chugiak High School was on lockdown this afternoon after reports of a possible weapon on campus. Olivia Nordyke met with a parent in that area and joins us now with how the lockdown caused locals to react. Joe, officials say the Anchorage Police Department investigated and didn't find a weapon at the school, saying the threat was unfounded. I asked parents and students how they were feeling when they learned about the lockdown. An Anchorage high school was on lockdown Friday after reports of a possible weapon on campus. Chugiak High School senior Pierce Thomas says his schoolmates took the threat seriously and said they were prepared for an emergency, although caught off guard. It was handled pretty well, to be honest. It was definitely unexpected. I mean, most of the stuff is pretty unexpected. Most people are caught off guard when it happens, but it went pretty smoothly with us getting into a safe place and barricading the doors. Chugiak High School principal Megan Hatswell sending a message early Friday afternoon telling parents, students, and staff about a possible weapon on campus. Police investigated and didn't find a weapon, saying the possible threat was unfounded, and class resumed. A lot of people were shaken up. I was really scared for them, and um, I couldn't even imagine what they were feeling. Hannah Smith's daughters are not school-aged. She heard the news of a lockdown through a group chat with other local parents. A lot of the moms were concerned and really worried because all they were getting was just text from their kids, um, nothing from the school teachers and faculty. While students and parents were relieved of the false alarm on Friday, gun violence in schools is a growing concern across the country, as shared by senior Amelia Brooks, who asked Alaska's top two candidates for the state during a debate Thursday night about gun violence. Local youth want to know, school shootings are an ongoing tragedy across the country with no single easy solution. With Alaska's high rates of gun ownership, what measures would you take to help ensure the safety of schools and youth serving communities? How do you protect both the Second Amendment as well as our students and communities? Back in Chugiak, Smith says lockdowns have her second guessing, sending her children to public school when they're old enough. It made me think maybe a private school versus public is more appropriate or even something more alternative like a Waldorf school might even be safer just because it's more non-traditional. So it had me thinking what are the safest options really. Alaska's news source was unable to speak with Chugiak administration directly, but after the lockdown was lifted, students were dismissed from school as usual.